Hey guys, Dr. Andrew here today. We are doing neck stretches. I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to relax these muscles on the side of your shoulders through there, up into the neck area. Great for tension, headaches, great for problems if you've got what we call the forward head posture, and a couple of tips on what we can do from that will be coming in the future. So the first exercise, we're gonna really make sure that you're improving the range of motion with your neck, okay? So there are three movements that we wanna really concentrate on. The first movement is going forwards and backwards. Now, I would have probably talked to you about whether you need to do more forwards or more backwards exercise, so that's a one-on-one -on -one conversation where we have. But basically, with any exercise, we always sort of stretch it for 30 seconds, just mildly to begin with, 30 seconds each way, and you do that three times, gradually getting harder and harder each time. The second exercise we get people to do is to rotate it. 30 seconds to this side, 30 seconds to that side. First time, do it nice and relaxed, and then gradually get firmer and firmer, okay? The last one we get you to do has some variations, okay? So me personally, I like to sit on my hand. That stabilizes a shoulder. What I see a lot when people do a side stretch is that their shoulder actually raises, not actually stretching your neck. So sit on your hand, tilt your ears sideways, make sure that your head doesn't rotate and hold that for 30 seconds. Other side, hold that for 30 seconds. And of course, get firmer and firmer as you get better and better. When you start to master these ones, you'll be able to sort of feel if one side needs more than the other. But the biggest uh, mistake that I see people make is that they stretch the painful side more. It might be painful because your body is already over that way. And by stretching it more, you'll actually make it worse. So I'll talk to you that one-on-one -on -one just to make sure you understand that there. But I'll give you a little bit of a variation on that last one. So let's say, for example, you have a neck which is forward and we don't want to stretch this way. We can vary the stretches into the neck and shoulders by sitting on the hand. You can do your sideways ones first, but then you can turn your head 50% uh, to the left and tilt out to the left, so 30 seconds, and then you can tilt your head to the right and tilt to the left for 30 seconds and obviously vice versa. Now what that does is it uh, addresses the, the front and the back part of the muscle there. You might find that one works better for you and you don't have to push your head forward with this exercise. So we call those the cervical range of motion exercises. Um, make sure the first couple of times you're doing it, you're doing it in front of a mirror so you can actually see that you're doing it correctly. I'll have some more exercises for you in the future. Bye for now.